Hi, Saka Fett. I'm Roma, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make you a Dominican style Creole kingfish. If you like to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. <laughs> So before cooking my fish, I like to marinate it in some salt water. The reason for that is because if you put it with dry seasoning, then it really doesn't absorb into the fish. And also when you fry it, the fish is going to burn. So we're going to soak it in some cold seasoned water instead. So for that, I will need four cups of cold water, one tablespoon of green seasoning, one scotch bonnet pepper, a teaspoon of granulated garlic, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one tablespoon of seasoned salt. Pour everything into the water. Now we will add seasoned salt, onion powder, black pepper, and garlic. And we're just gonna give that a stir. Once this is all finished, we're gonna add our fish. Just gonna put the fish in there. Kingfish in our salt water. It's just gonna sit there for about an hour and all that delicious salty water is gonna just get right into it. We cover it and leave it in the fridge for an hour before we cook it. These are the ingredients that we are going to need for our Creole sauce. We are going to need two tablespoons of tomato puree or tomato paste, four cloves of garlic, one onion, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of green seasoning, one teaspoon of Cajun or Creole seasoning, and just a little piece of annatto, not too much also a cup of water and you can always add more water heating up we turn it on high let it get nice and hot and then I'm gonna put some butter I'm gonna put one tablespoon of clarified butter in there. so this was really a big onion so I'm just gonna use half of it now we add some tomatoes to it Okay, so this is, looks like it's all cooked now. We can add some water to that. And now we can add our tomato puree. Give that a stir. Now we add the rest of our water. Just pour it all in. And the ingredients are the ingredients. So this is our Cajun seasoning, green seasoning, 
Now the green seasoning is a blend of thyme and pepper and green pepper and garlic and just parsley. So this is a staple in Caribbean cooking. And it's something which is, if you can buy it already made in the supermarket, I like to blend mine myself. So this is my own creation. Add some black pepper. Our seasoned salt. And a natto. Just gonna break it up. Okay, and we're just gonna bring that to a boil and let it simmer. We are going to now get our kingfish ready to fry. I'm going to take it out from the salt water and put it on some paper towel on a plate so we can get the excess liquid off of it. Now you want to dry this really well to avoid splattering. Get some paper towel and we're going to dry it up. In a bowl, we are going to put some flour. We just want to dust it lightly in some flour. While we're doing that, we're going to put our oil. I like using safflower oil for frying. It is a very light oil, so it's not going to leave my fish greasy. We're just going to pour it in. And we're going to let it hot, get really hot. So. Turn up the fire a bit. Our oil is hot. We are going to put the fish in. So you just want to put it in the flour and lightly dust it. Turn it. And make sure to shake off the excess. And we're gonna put it down in the pot. want to check on our sauce so I'm gonna just see how it's coming along see if you need any extra salt so that's fine that's lovely I think it's ready to turn over and to the other side. So that's it. Yeah. We can turn it over now. This is good. fish is fried so we are just going to take them out from the pan put it on a plate and now we are going to transfer it to our sauce we're just going to take the lid off the sauce as you can see it looks really good look at that oh red and delicious now we are going to put our fish in into the sauce Take the spoon and I just want to put a little bit of the sauce on the top so you get the flavor, kind of smother it. You don't have to cook it again, you just want to leave it for about 
three minutes just to get it the uh, sauce into the fish. So we're gonna cover it and turn it, it's turned down and low and just leave it for about three minutes, it's already done. And here you have it, our Dominican style Creole Kingfish. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.